Hey, welcome to this introduction about innovation aspects. My name is Jan Frick and I'm a professor at the Business School in Stavanger University. And I'm going to uh, talk a bit about the different types of innovation. Basically, it's published quite a lot of places that we have nine different types of innovation. The most well-known, of course, is the product, but we can also uh, change and invent the process. We can invent something about service. Uh, we can change the business model that we're using, and we can uh, do this either in an incremental, small step kind of improvement process, or we can do it in as a disruption or a breakthrough, which is huge changes in a short time. Uh, people also often forget that we can do something about the organization and so on as well. To start with the most common issues, product innovation. Quite a lot of people think that we should have a big ID and then come up with it. In most cases, product innovation is incremental. Product innovation is something that we that happen uh, when companies improve uh, existing products, services, and processes, and they do it in a lot of small steps. The same, but that goes both for products and process. Uh, process is actually quite often just as common as the product innovation. And it connects quite often to service as well, because how we deliver service or to our customers is in most companies quite closely related to the processes and the change in the product as well. But service is an important part. And in the same way as this can be with what the service and the product and process can be incremental, it can also be disruptive. We have to have innovation that replaces existing companies or industries. The well-known uh, example of that is that more or less let all the other businesses uh, doing the phone, uh, mobile phones disappear. Uh, there is another introduction to the business model canvas, but that's a part of developing the business model and see how the business models can be utilized as an, par as an important part of innovation in a business. Quite often we see that all of these uh, in different ways, but they go together to create a new foundation for a company. And it's important to understand how uh, all of these actually goes together. But these also come into how we think about the breakthrough. Can we have based a uh, shift on a paradigm shift in technology and science. Transistors came uh, in the mid 90s. Someone showed that it was possible to have a mobile telephone that was not available before that. It was a shift in technology and it created a lot of new industries, as you know. The more important part into all of this is to look upon how can this be met by the need of a customer? An outcome in that sense is an important part of the innovation process because we don't invent just like that, just to do or something just for fun. We want to do, to do innovation because it has a purpose, it has a market to be met. And we want to hit how people think about uh, the new product. Therefore, it's also important to look upon the 
organizational aspect, the way people manage and share resources. We have seen a lot of new business models coming out uh, the later years, and most of them also have a huge impact on how people organize themselves. There is a lot of new things about organizational structures coming out uh, of the new computerized and digitalization industries. This is a presentation made uh, for uh, the EPIC program, which is funded by the Erasmus+.